One thing that it is important to remember when you're working with a object that was created as a two-dimensional object, that is, it was created with just um, kind of X and Y content and no, no depth, is that uh, while you're working in, in 3D space, your object remains flat. It remains two-dimensional. And this really shows up when we go in and work with the rotation or the orientation values. Now, um, here you can see if we go in and rotate, say, the X and Y values, you can see that, actually let's just rotate the Y value to start with. You can see that if we position it at about 90, it's going to start looking almost completely flat. And it can disappear completely. That's because it has no depth, it is just completely flat. The same thing applies Let's just uh, zero this out again. The same thing applies if we uh, rotate the x value. We can just make it completely invisible and flat because it has no depth. Now, uh, if we go in and adjust the z rotation, whoops, it's a little bit different. We're going to get the same kind of rotation now that we actually got with our 2D layer. So it's rotating around the anchor point and it's, uh, it's not disappearing. It's just this behaving the same way that basic rotation does in a two-dimensional layer. Now here, let's just have a look at orientation, which is a little bit different from rotation. It allows you to set exactly where, so let's just scale this down here a little bit, set exactly where you want your starting position to be. So both in terms of um, your uh, X and Y position or, or rotation and your Z rotation. So it's like uh, positioning something. It isn't quite the same as rotation. Uh, but And you can see here it can basically have the same result. So we could start something here or it's in a position where it's completely invisible. And we could go in, whoops, and I accidentally deleted that. And we can go in and create an animation where it just kind of suddenly appears. So here, let's uh, zero this out. And I'm zeroing it out because those were the original coordinates in terms of orientation. And this will kind of allow us to create an animation where our text kind of unfolds and appears. Now here with rotation, this is something, or orientation, either one, this is something that's kind of interesting to notice. Here you can see our 2D text interferes or intersects with our more 2D text layer. So what we have is uh, because we've rotated its position, so it's not entirely flat and entirely on a flat plane. We have an intersection between more 2D text and uh, 2D text. And here we can, let's just make this a little bit more visible. So here you can see how that works. We can actually pass through. And uh, we could do this as a, an animation where our text just spins if we want it. But I just want to point out how um, positioning even though our layers are flat, it's a little bit more complicated when you're working with uh, multiple dimensions.